Hey guys, Gathering the Magic back again. Um, this is a video I've been working on for a while. Um, I probably still will add some more details to this in the future, but wanted to get this out here um, in front of you guys now, just so you can kind of take a look at it, check it out, um, leave me some feedback on what you think. Um, this is my idea for some rewards that they could give to bronze players. Now, I tried my best to figure out a way to do it so that bots couldn't exploit it. Um, I'll get to that later in the video, but mainly this is for players that are on a limited budget, that are new to the game, playing in bronze, trying to build their deck, trying to advance levels, and just trying to have fun. You know, what kind of cool stuff can can you work on while you're doing that long bronze grind, you know, trying to advance to the next leagues. So the system that I came up with is basically a system where every day you come in, you log in, complete 10 rank battles. Okay, that's all you need to do. It doesn't matter how many you win or lose. Just play at least 10 battles every day in bronze. Um, make sure that you play every day because every day you're going to get an increasing number of points. So if you miss a day, whatever points you have that you haven't used, you're going to lose them. So this is to encourage players to come in and just get in the habit of playing every day. You don't have to play a lot. Like I said, just 10 battles. So you could probably do that in what? 20 minutes or so you know don't have to spend a lot of time but just log in play your 10 battles every day um, the first day that you log in and you complete your battles you'll get a point the second day it will increase by two points so you'll get three and and so on so you can see as you're getting la later in the season around day 9 and 10 you're earning you know 45 55 points a day and then most seasons are around 15 days long so your last day, you're going to get 120 points. So if you come in, play for 15 days straight, do your 10 battles, you're going to get 680 points that you can use. Now, what can you use those points for? Well, here's some ideas that I had. One thing that you could get, and it really wouldn't cost the developers hardly anything, is just give them a unique title. You know, just some ideas, the persistent, the determined, the acclaimed. You know, so if you just want to have a title, you know, you see other players that have these cool titles, at least you can work towards, you know, getting a title in your account. Um, another thing I was thinking of is like skins, maybe for newer cards. Um, they really haven't worked on newer card skins for like Rift Watchers, Chaos Legion and that, or some of the reward cards. So if they did that, that would be something kind of cool that you could get. And I mean, even if you don't have any Rift Watchers cards, you know, you're going to have reward cards. So it'd be kind of cool for bronze players to get, you know, skins for them. Um, another idea is maybe a voucher. So 250 points, you could get a voucher. Now this is going to be account bound. So you're not going to be able to trade it. You're not going to be able to sell it. It's just for this specific account. So if there is something cool down the road that requires vouchers, and you're like, well, I don't have a lot of SPS, but it would be really cool if I could get that. You know, this voucher might help you do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, another thing is maybe just 50 points for extra loot chests. I mean, as you know, in bronze, most of the loot chests don't have a whole lot in them anyway. But this would be a way that, you know, if you don't want to save up your points for something big, you could just spend a little bit of points and get, what, maybe an extra 12 or 13 loot chests during a season. So that's another option. Um, if you want to save up your points, 100 points, maybe give them a random card that's not a reward card. So you would get a random common for maybe Rift Watchers or Chaos Legion. Because people on limited budgets, they probably don't have cards from these sets. So even being a common, they probably get pretty excited about. Um, 250 points, I'd say just a random rare card. Um, it could be a reward card or it could be, you know, a rare card from one of these sets. Um, some of the ideas that I had in past videos were for um, locked loot chests and skeleton keys. So if they decide to add that to the game, maybe you spend 500 points and you're guaranteed a bronze loot chest. Now, for those of you that don't know, if you haven't watched my previous videos, a locked loot chest is a special item, uh, very rare, and the loot chests all contain five items. So it's basically like a pack. So for 500 points, you know, you could get a um, locked bronze loot chest. 100 points, you could get a key. So basically, if you play every day during the season, you're going to get 680 points. 
you could get a key and then a loot chest, you know, use your key to open the loot chest. You know you're going to get five items. You're probably going to get, you know, higher amounts of, you know, SPS or merits. You know, you've got a better chance of getting probably at least two or three cards, maybe a gold card. So this would be something I think that players would be excited to get. It's like, okay, I'm going to play all season and at the end of season, you know, I know I'm going to get a, a locked loot chest that I can open. Um, I was thinking if you want to save your points for more than one season, um, for a thousand points, maybe you would get like an epic reward card. You know, just something like that. So it's like, okay, I know I at least can get an epic card this way. 1,500 points, um, a legendary card. And then if you want to save up your points for probably three seasons to get a booster pack. I mean, they give booster packs away in Silver League, you know, for people that haven't invested a ton of money in the game. So it is possible. I think it's like a one in hundred and some chance of getting a booster pack. So I figure if you're playing consistently for three seasons, yeah, let them get a $2 booster pack. That's, I don't think that's going to be exploited too bad. Now, I know one of the questions people are going to have is, well, what about bots? Well, to kind of discourage that or eliminate this possibility is if your ECR falls below a certain percentage, you don't get any daily points. Now, what they want to set that percentage at is up for debate. Um, personally, I never really play my ECR below 60%. I usually stop when I'm at 70 75%. But I know bots can play 24-7. So to kind of discourage that, it's like if people are using bot accounts, you know, and playing hundreds of matches a day, your ECR is going to fall way below 50%. But I mean, even if they want to go 60, you know, most people, especially new players, they're not going to play 50 battles, 60 battles a day. You know, they're going to play 10 to 20, get their daily points, you know, and, and, and go that way. So hopefully this will discourage the bots from playing and leeching the points and I mean in all honesty a lot of the stuff probably the bots really won't care about they're not going to care about titles they're not going to care about skins they're not going to care about a voucher that they can't sell you know maybe they care a little bit about a card you could get here and there but it's really not going to be worth their while to farm and then limit how much they play just for a chance of getting you know some of these items so I, I feel this is probably the best way for players to play every day, get some points, get some cool rewards. You know, every season or two, you've got a chance you're going to get an epic card, you're going to get a legendary, you're going to slowly grow your deck. Um, you know, every three seasons or so, you can get a booster pack. That's going to be exciting. And then that'll just kind of encourage people to play every day. Okay, guys, there you have it. That was just the video I'm working on. If you have any other suggestions for items you think that would be cool to add, I will definitely add this to the list. Um, I would like to submit this to the Splinterlands team, so if I can figure out a way to get in contact with them, I will definitely uh, submit this proposal to them. But yeah, any additions that you think, feel free to drop them in the comments, and I will definitely look at them and respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you did well in your end-of-season rewards, and until next time, I will see you soon. Happy grinding, and take care.